Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Glacial Geek Battle Report. I am Phil the Glacial Geek, coming to you here from Tier 1 Cards and Games in Anchorage, Alaska. We're coming to you with an 1850 ITC mission uh, battle here between my Dark Angels and Collins Mechanicum and Astra Militarum. So, uh, the story that we've got here is the ongoing effort from the Dark Angels to cleanse this Imperial Planet's uh, planetary defense force of, of uh, chaotic influence uh, continues on into the city here where they're going uh, block by block to take him out. Uh, and the Dark Angels have run into an interesting little situation here. Um, a group of Mechanicum were on the planet looking for, uh, looking for some technology on the planet and were offered uh, support by the planetary governor. So they took up arms along with the along with the planetary defense force against the Dark Angels because the Dark Angels' presence here causing war is putting that technology at risk, and they want to take it out and they want to take out the threat so they can go and collect that technology. So uh, before we go any further, we will I will show you the two armies and any psychic powers. So for the Dark Angels, I'll be bringing a combined arms attachment. Leading that detachment will be an interrogator chaplain with a jump pack. We have a 10-man tactical squad with a plasma cannon, a plasma gun, and a rhino as a dedicated transport. We have another 10-man tactical squad with a plasma cannon, plasma gun, and a rhino as a dedicated transport. We have a 5-man Deathwing Knight squad with a Land Raider Crusader with a multi melt upgrade as a dedicated transport. We have a 10-man assault squad with jump packs and the sergeant has a power sword. We have a two bike attack bike squadron with multi melt upgrades. We have a five man Ravenwing bike squadron with two plasma guns. We have a five man Devastator squad with two grav cannons. We have a whirlwind. And last but not least, we have a single Predator tank with twin link LAS cannons and LAS cannon sponsons. So to start it off, the main detachment will be a cohort Cybernetica led by a Tech Priest Dominus and two Castellan robot maniples consisting of a Cybernetica Datasmith and two Castellan robots each. Then we have an Astra Militarum Combined Arms Detachment led by a company command squad with a missile launcher team, two grenade launchers, and they will be inside of a Chimera. We have a level one Primaris Psyker. We have a Ministorum Priest. We have a veteran squad with three plasma guns and the demolition trait, and they will be riding inside of a Chimera. We have another veteran squad with three plasma guns and the demolition trait, and they will also be riding in a Chimera. We have a seven-man squad of Bulgrins, four of which have slab shields and grenadier gauntlets, and three have power mauls and brute shields. And last but not least, we have a two-tank wyvern squadron. The primary psyker rolled on telekinesis, so he got a sail as the primaris and crush as his power. So those are the psychic powers and armies that we've got going on here today. So i uh, show you deployment here for the Dark Angels. On the left here I've got a combat squatted uh, attack squad with a sergeant and a plasma gun inside, inside that rhino there. I've got the attack bikes. I've got the land raider with the Deathwing Knights inside. We've got my whirlwind here. We've got the Devastator Squad with the Grav Cannons inside this building. We've got my Predator. The Assault Squad with the uh, Warlord attached to him there. The Interrogator Chaplain. Uh, we've got another uh, uh, Combat Squatted Attack Squad here with a Plasma Cannon. We've got a Rhino with another uh, Sergeant and Plasma Gun inside there. Uh, attack Squad. Uh, the, the Combat Squad Attack Squad. Then we have the Five Man Bike Squad here. And the other Combat Squatted uh, Plasma team here. Then over here for the uh, Planetary Defense Force and such, we've got the two uh, veteran squads are inside their chimeras there. We've got the Wyvern here. Coming over here we've got the command squad is inside of there. We've got the Bulgrin with the priest and the uh, and the uh, primary psyker inside them. And we've got the uh, the uh, Mechanicus over here. So that's the way it's set up. We're actually going to be playing um, the Modified Crusade mission. So we've got a uh, number two objective here. We've got a number one objective inside of here. We've got another up two objective here. Ignore that three, it's actually a two. And the other one is underneath the Wyvern over there. So uh, that's what we've got lined up here. As of now, the Dark Angels are gonna be going first, unless of course, uh, the Planetary Defense can seize the initiative. 
No, they cannot. So we will come back to you after movement phase for the Dark Angels on turn one. The objectives for number uh, turn one, we have. I got five and six, which is have three of my units in my deployment zone and none of his, and uh, and have one of mine in his objective in his deployment zone. Then he got one and six, which is hold objective one, and have three of his and none of mine in his deployment zone. All right, movement phase for Dark Angels here on turn one. Uh, these guys all moved up. These guys moved up. These guys moved up. These guys moved up, and they moved up, um, and all the tanks passed their uh, uh, immobilization rolls there. Um, every, he pivoted a bit, and these guys all stood still. So we will come back to you with the shooting phase here on turn one. Starting off here, we've got uh, my, uh, my predator here. It's going to fire into that chimera. So the, green, the black one's going to be the twin link glass cannon, the, rest, the other one's going to be the sponson, so hitting on threes. Okay. Uh, front armor is 12, so glancing on threes. All right, we got one pen and one glance. He's going to get a, uh, a cover save coming through here, so a four plus cover save. We'll do the glance first. Nope, and the pen. No, okay. So the pen is plus one. Looking for a six. No, getting a one. So he's just going to be uh, snap firing next turn. All right, moving on. All right, this plasma dude here is going to fire onto that uh, chimera over there. Uh, so let's roll the gets hot. Oop, nope, I rolled two accidentally. Sorry, people. Gets hot. Nope, close, but no. All right, I'm going to place it like right in the middle on that track on this track over there. See if it scatters. Direct hit. So I get one on each. Um, so what's the, uh, it's front armor 12, right? So fives to glance we'll do on the injured one. Fives to glance. Nope. On the uninjured one, fives to glance. Yep, that's a glance. All right. So he takes a hull point. All right, moving on. All right, this guy here is going to do the same thing, firing right over there. So let's roll to get hot. Get hot. Nope. So then let's roll over here to see if it scatters. Uh, two inches that way. So it's still going to hit both. All right. So we'll do uh, on the injured one, needing a five to glance. That's glance. And then on the uninjured one, that's a glance. Okay. Plasma doing its thing. Moving on. All right, this squad here is going to fire into the other Chimera that's still alive. That one's dead. So uh, needing uh, five, uh, needing uh, threes to hit because only the plasma guns can do anything. Threes to hit. All right, two hits. Needing fives and sixes. Got nothing. All right, so moving on. All right, my whirlwind here. It's going to fire over on here, onto the Wyverns. So he's going to use his Strength 5 AP4 Blast, which does not ignore cover. So let's see, does it scatter? Nope, direct hit. So what's that hit? One of his guys in this squad, and then two hits onto the Wyvern squad there. So their ordnance shots. So side armor, uh, ordnance and barrage. So the side armor is uh, 10. So the first shot onto the Wyverns, looking for a five to glance. Nope. Five to glance. That's a pen. So uh, pen result, uh, it doesn't ignore cover. So and I think from here, oh no, but it's from the middle of the blast, you're right. So uh, plus one is open topped. So three, so it's snap shooting, which is pretty good. So. Uh, Yep, and then on the other guy there, strength 5, AP 4, looking for a 2 to wound, right? The toughness 3? Yep. No, oh, went a 1. So he's not, he's not wounded. All right, so that's that. All right, moving on. All right, moving on to the land raider here. He's going to fire onto the Bulgren. So he moved at uh, he moved 12, so Power of the Machine Spirit is going to allow the, the Assault Cannon to fire at full, which is going to be the black ones. The red, which is going to be the multi melt will be snap firing, and the greens, which are the Hurricane Bolters, will be snap firing. Everything's twin linked except for the, uh, the multi melt So hitting on threes and sixes. All right, that hit, which is good. All right. Okay. Oh, this is a three. Because that's the assault cannon firing full there. Yep, and then uh, twin linked. Okay. 
All right, so their toughness five. So the green's going to be wounding on a five. These are going to be wounding on a three. And then this is going to be wounding on a two. Oh, of course. All right, so I got two, three rending shots. Okay. So, uh, yeah, three rending shots. So three wounds going through there from the assault cannon. So one guy did? All right, cool. They have each had three wounds. So, boom. All right, moving on. All right, the attack bikes are going to fire onto the Bulgren as well. So I've got uh, the blacks are going to be the multi melters, the greens are going to be the twin link bolters. So hitting on threes. Twin linked. Alrighty. So these are going to be wounding on fives, these are going to be wounding on twos. All right, so we've got uh, two AP2 wounds and one um, two AP2 wounds and one armor save. So three plus, he's good. So one guy just takes two wounds. Okay, cool. Moving on. All right, we forgot the cover saves because I forgot he was firing through the walls here. So uh, four plus here for the cover saves. And he saved one of them, so he's back up to two, which is good. All right, moving on. The squad inside of here is going to fire into the Bullgrins. So. Um, they've moved 12, so it's going to be snap firing. So we've got uh, the black is going to be a snap firing plasma gun. Green is going to be a snap firing bolter. So hitting on sixes. Okay, nothing. All right, and then the uh, the uh, storm bolter on top of the rhino is going to fire. Hitting on sixes. One hit, wounding on a five. Nothing. All right. Uh, I think that might be the end of my shooting phase. I've got a couple runs I might make. But otherwise, that's the end, and there's not going to be any charges here. So we'll come back to you after uh, we'll come back to you after movement phase for Astra Militarum and uh, Mechanicus here on turn one. All right, Astra Militarum movement phase here. We've got these guys uh, move six on the, in the Chimera and then uh, disembarked here. So they're looking on these guys. We've got the front guy up there is the one with the demo charge. So that should be interesting. Uh, these guys moved up this way. Uh, these guys disembarked, and then is the Chimera shot up this way to get in the way of my Land Raider over here. Bullgren are making their way up. These guys are making their way up slowly but surely. And that's the movement phase here, so we will come back to you with the shooting phase. All right, I lied. It's actually the psychic phase. I forgot that I don't have psychic ears, but he does. So uh, he's going to actually try... Uh, he rolled and rolled a two, so giving him three dice and me two dice. He's going to roll crush onto, uh, onto my Land Raider there. So it needs one, he gets it with two. Can I get two sixes? I got, whoa, so close. All right, uh, so it goes off, so it's a, it's a hit, or is it a witch fire? It's a witch fire. It's a witch fire, so he has to roll the hit. So he needed a three. He needed a three, gets it. So now he hits a hit with uh, strength of the results of this, strength six, so that actually can't do anything on it. So, well, that was still pretty cool. All right, so that's the end of the psychic phase. Now we'll come back to you with the shooting phase. All right, starting off here, he's going to give the order from there. Fire on my target onto these guys. Needing a nine, getting it. So these guys now have ignores cover. And then they're going to fire, right? Yep. Who are they going to fire on? All right. What's the strength of this and toughness? Uh, strength six, AP four. Strength, no, six, strength four, AP six. Strength four, AP six. So uh, they're not going to jink. Yeah, so we'll do. We got three of them. Yep, he's got it right over, uh, right in the over the wheel there, that guy. So three shots, first one. Goes off five, five inches. inches. So that's not gonna um, nothing. And then uh, second shot. It's going off three uh, six three inches. That's one hit. Still hits one. Then it goes off. That's a hit. That's a hit. Or it goes off one inch, but it's still going to hit two. So three hits onto them. Strength four, AP six, or strength four, AP six. So looking for fives. I uh, got one wound. So three plus armor save. They're good. All right, moving on. All right, so these guys here are going to fire into these guys. So he's got six shots that are going to be twin linked and six shots that are regular. So they're jinking. Uh, so these are going to be the twin linked ones. Hitting on fours or threes? Fours. So, uh, wow, four hits, pretty good so far. So he's just going to pick up the ones that need re-rolling with the other ones. Hitting on fours. All righty. Still, that's quite a few hits. All right, so strength six, toughness five. So you're looking for threes. One, two, three, wow. Seven. Seven wounds, and he's got to do them one at a time because uh, it reduces my cover save 
if uh, if I fail and take one. So the first one here, four plus jinx save. He's good. So that's one. Four plus jinx save. Rerollable. It's good. Four plus jinx save. Rerollable. That's good. Wow, Ravenwing, hell yeah. Four plus, good. Four plus, good. Four plus, rerollable. Oh, okay, so he takes a wound. Um, and then uh, one more, which is a five plus. Rerollable. Oh, I wish it was the other way around with the sixes I kept getting. All right, so one guy is uh, is dead. I think he's the closest. Alrighty, so two wounds onto them. All right, pretty good. All right, moving on. So now they're gonna fire their torn flamers onto this guy. So he uh, got two hits on here. So strength four, AP five, need fives. Getting one. Three plus armor save. He's good. All right. All right, so we're gonna fire from here. First thing he's gonna do is throw his demo charge onto the guy there. So they're jinking. He's gonna scatter. Uh, nope, direct hit. So that's gonna hit one, two, three, five guys. He's all five of them. So uh, five hits, strength eight, AP two. So looking for twos. Okay, five wounds. We've got five four up jinx saves. All right, and re roll. Yeah, <laughs> that's how you do it. They're squirrely little guys. Now, onto the plasma shots, they're gonna fire into them. So, hitting on threes because they're veterans. Okay, wow, really good. Five, five hits. Now, five, uh, now wounding on twos. All right, five wounds. Five four up saves. Oh, not as good. Re roll. Come on, low dice, low dice. Yes. Oh, two guys die. So these are the closest. And uh, then we've got. So we have. Um, we got. Ten las gun shots and a las pistol. Ten las gun shots and a las pistol coming in. Hitting on threes. Wow. Good dice. Really good dice. All right, wounding on uh, fives. Oh, what's, the, what's the strength on this? Three. I'm sorry. Three, so wounding on sixes. We got one. Three plus. No, another guy dies. Not good. All right, moving on. All right, he's going to fire snap fire into uh, these guys with this multi laser. Hitting on sixes. Nope. Alrighty. So we're going to fire these guys into here. He's got the three plasma guys in range. So hitting on threes. Oh, no gets hot. Nice. Wounding on twos. So five guys just dead. Alright. One, two, three, four. Five. Another guy dead. Oh, shot out of double tap. So he's got uh, six shots with the last cannons coming. Oh, last guns coming in. Hitting on th uh, threes. All right. Wounding on uh, four fives. He's got three wounds. Three three plus saves. One more guy dies. Brutal. All right. So the wyverns back over here are going to be firing over into uh, my assault squad here. So he's going to start it, try to get it on top of the, the sergeant there. It scatters, uh, re-roll because it's twin linked. Scatters eight, uh, no, three, what, seven? Well, five. Five inches, so it's over there. So this first shot is a miss. Second shot can be, yep, right to there, still a miss. Next shot, over that way, it's a miss. Oh, yeah. So fourth, fourth one, that's a hit, and I can touch anywhere, so okay. just three. So three guys, so three strength, what is it again? Four against four. Four against four. So four wounds, or three wounds, three wounds, sorry. So three, three plus armor saves. Uh, one failed, which is right on to this guy first, right? So that's my sergeant. Oh, uh, he's going to look out, sir. Yeah, that yeah I don't know what I'm doing that. <laughs> look out, sir. Nope, so he's taking it. All right, move, 
Moving on. All right, these guys here are gonna fire into the uh, into my bike there. He's already jinking, so he's gonna continue jinking. So we got the grenade launchers coming in here. Hitting, uh, nope, not on twos. Nice. It's a miss, and the missile was uh, snap shooting, so he missed too. All right, so uh, that's the end of the uh, shooting phase here. Do you have any charges you're gonna make? Um, no. Nope, no charges this turn, so uh, we'll come back to you with the results of the uh, objectives. All right, so uh, I scored objective six, or I scored uh, mission six there. Did not get five, which was getting to his deployment zone. Um, he scored one, hold objective one and six, have three of his and none of mine in his deployment zone. Uh, then we rolled for the second next turn, and he got one and six again, and I got three and six, which is destroy an enemy unit and have three in mine and none of his. So. Uh, yeah, moving on, we'll come back to you after movement phase for Dark Angels here on turn two. All right, movement phase for Dark Angels here on turn two. Uh, this tank tried to move up and immobilized itself, even though it has uh, uh, dozer blades. Rolled a double one. Good job, buddy. Uh, then this guy, uh, he actually fell back and then came back up here. These guys disembarked. This guy stood still there. These guys ran up. These guys used the jump packs up this way. He ran up this way. He passed his test. These guys moved along this way. These guys stood still. These guys stood still. And uh, he stood still. So yeah, that's the movement phase. So now we'll come back to you with the shooting phase. All right, we're going to start here with the Predator. Firing onto the Wyvern squadron there. So uh, the Black's going to be the twin linked, hitting on threes. All right, all hits. Front armor is front armor 12, so threes to glance. Uh, got to cock. So we got two glances and a pen. Let's do the, uh, you get some cover save, so we'll do the two glances. Uh, one is saved, one is not, and then the pen is saved. Okay, so it just, the front one there just takes uh, one hull point. All right, moving on. All right, this plasma uh, cannon here is going to fire all the way over here onto his wyverns. So we're going to roll to get hot, get hot. It does. Oh, no. Three plus armor. He's good, but he doesn't get to fire. But now his buddy over here is going to do the exact same thing because I really don't like those wyverns. So, uh, gets hot. He's good on the gets hot. So let's see if it scatters. I'm going to roll it up here so it's easy to see. Uh, ooh, it does scatter six inches this way. Uh, it's a little bit this way, yeah. It's off the board. It's off the board. Dang it. The center of the blast is off the board. Uh, it's not just like just on the edge there? Not too bad. So we put it here. Yep. Angle it like that. The center of the blast. Is, yep, just off the board. Oh, brutal. Oh, five inches would have been good. Okay. I'm going to move on and live with that. All right, I'm actually going to fire the uh, whirlwind back all the way over here again. Firing it right onto him. So if I can place it right there, so it'll hit both on a... you got to be over the model, though. Yeah, over on this tread, like that. Right over the tread there. So that's why I'm going to do it. See if it scatters. Direct hit. So that's two hits onto them. So that's, uh, should have brought those other dice over here. So that's two strength five on the side armor 10 and their uh, ordnance. So looking for fives on the first hit. Nothing. Looking for fives on the second hit. Nothing. Oh! Okay, moving on. All right, the squad in here is actually going to fire onto the Wyverns. So the only thing that can do anything is going to be the plasma gun inside. So he's going to be hitting on the three. Does it hit? <laughs> At least it didn't get hot, I guess. Oh, that's going to be brutal. All right, moving on. All right, this bike squad is going to fire into this command squad. Are they uh, the veteran squad over there? So they're going to be rapid firing their plasma guns, hitting on threes. Two. Oh man. Yep. All right, and only one hit. Three plus. Okay, one guy's gonna die. Yeah, buddy. One guy's dead. One hits. Wounded on a two. Yeah. So one guy's obliterated, and I got obliterated. Okay. Good times. Moving on. All right. The attack bike is gonna fire onto the uh, the chimera there. So he jinked last turn, so he's gonna be hitting on a six. 
He hits. All right, within melter range. Front armor is 12, needing a four to glance. Double ones. Double ones. Oh, you kidding me? Just huge. 11. <sighs> moving on, moving on. All right, so now the Land Raider is actually going to fire into the Bulgrim, but I'm going to power the Machine Spirit, the multi it into the uh, Chimera there. So uh, hit the uh, multi melter hitting into the Chimera, hitting on a three. Yes. Nope, doesn't wow. hit. Wow. Rough. Wow. All right, now we're going to do the Assault Cannons into the Bulgrim. Hitting on, uh, hitting on threes. Twin linked. Wow, my dice are abandoning me today. Ugh. All right. Uh, wounding on their toughness five. Toughness five. So wounding on a three. All right. One is rending and one is not. So uh, they've got a three plus armor save and a five plus cover save. So we'll do the armor save first. Okay. They make that and the five plus armor uh, cover save do not make. So they will take one wound from that. Then I've got the uh, Hurricane Bolters hitting on threes. Uh, twin linked. Wow, my dice are just abandoning me. Yeah, seriously, I'm going to have to chastise them or something. All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just microwave them, right? Uh, wounding on uh, fives. Okay, one. One three plus armor save. And he's good. Okay. Moving on. All right, so the squad inside here is going to fire into the Bulgrin over here. So I've got the black are going to be the rapid firing plasma gun, and the green is going to be rapid firing bolt gun. So hitting on threes. Oh, it gets hot. Are you kidding me? Three plus. He's good, at least. All right, wounding on a two and wounding on a five. All right, so I got one AP2 and one uh, armor save. So do the three plus armor save. Uh, no, he takes a wound. And then the, the four plus cover save, he's good. Okay. So he's down to one over there. All right. I think, nope, I've still got some more. All right, this squad here is going to fire their bolt pistols into the command squad there. So I got three that are coming from the regular guys and one from the interrogator chaplain, hitting on threes and two. Okay. Uh, wounding on threes, because they're toughness three. Wounding on threes. All right, got two wounds, two four plus cover saves. Right, or do they have three plus armor? No, it's cover Okay, save. so uh, two four plus cover saves. Should I look out sir first? Uh, no, you can do the, uh, the covers first. All right, so one saved, one missed. Look out sir. It's an independent character or no? Independent oh, but, yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, it's yeah. Yeah. Either, either regardless, he's good. So yeah. So take it out that guy. Yep. All right. Cool. All right. That should be the end of my shooting phase, I believe. So we'll come back to you after. Uh, we'll come back to you with the charges. Starting off the charges, he's going to charge into these guys. So Overwatch here, we've got the uh, plasma hitting on sixes. Oh, one of them hits and none got hot. Wounded on a two. Yeah, he's dead. All right, that was easy. All right, these guys are going to charge into these guys. So we've got the, uh, these are the crack grenades coming in. Oh, one hits. Strength, what is it? Six. Strength six. Nope. And then uh, we've got the crack missile. Hits. That's a wound. AP3, right? Uh, they're going shooting through the building, so four plus cover save. Oh, no. What is that? Oh. Dead. And a last pistol. And the last pistol does not hit. Of course, that's the one that misses, right? So their distance is going to need to be pretty high here. Yeah. Oh. Really? Yes. My dice have just completely abandoned me here. All right, moving on. Now the knights are going to try to charge into the Bulgren. These are last pistols. Nope, not hitting. So I need a four-inch charge. Double ones. No, I already did double ones. I don't need more double ones. Oh. The dice tried to do their best to hurt me there, but it didn't. So we're going to move them in, and then we've got one more charge coming. And then this biker is going to charge into the Chimera, needing three inches, and getting it. Barely again. Jeez. All right. All right, so we'll uh, move on to the uh, fight sub phase. All right, so let's go to this uh, attack here first, because this is the interesting one. So one guy made it into base to base, so they've got Hammer of Wrath. So I'm wounded on a five. Nope, nothing. All right, now it goes to my guys in uh, 
in initiative here. So I've got four guys, which are going to be the greens, are going to be the knights with the mace of absolution. So they've got two base plus one for the charge. And then the uh, knight master has three base plus one for the charge. Um, it's going to be strength uh, plus two, AP three for the greens, um, and fleshbane AP three for the blacks. So hitting on threes because my weapon skill is higher. Uh, cocked. Okay. Okay, really good. Um, the greens are going to be wounding on threes. The blacks are wounding on twos. Okay. So I've got... Let's see. Four. Wow, lots of ones and twos there. <laughs> All right, so we've got five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the first three guys are dead because it's AP three, so it goes through, and they don't have invuls, right? So that's six wounds right there. And we've got three more invul saves that have to be made by these guys. Five pluses. So <laughs> makes one. So one guy is down to one. All right. And now, uh, then you'll we'll move him in, and then we'll come back to you with that part of the fight sub phase. All right, these guys are coming in here. So these guys, uh, three the three Bulgren got into combat there. So we're gonna have ten attacks coming in here because the sergeant has an extra one, hitting on fours. Okay, it's not bad. And then wounding on twos because it's strength plus two. Okay, so we got four wounds, four two plus armor saves. Hopefully I got all my ones out of me before. No, okay, so they're good. All right, so that's the end of combat there, but they're fearless because of the priests, so that will we'll just uh, consolidate into each other there and uh, move on. All right, so now we're gonna go over here. He's gonna attack in, um, hitting on, he's gonna do the crack grenade. So hitting on a three, hits, wounding, uh, glancing on a four. Nope, nothing. <laughs> Okay, so that's the end of the fight sub phase, and that's the end of the Dark Angel's turn here on turn two. So we'll come back to you after a movement phase for the uh, Mechanicum and Astra Militarum on turn two. All right, movement phase here for Mechanicum and uh, Astra Militarum. These guys are moving up here, looking to join in that combat, I'm sure. He's just kind of shifted around this way, probably looking on those guys. These guys shift around there, except for the missile launcher dude. These guys are moving up this way, looking on them. Those guys stood still. He's dead. This guy moved up this way past his uh, his uh, difficult terrain test, um, and the, those guys actually inside of uh, inside of here. So they're inside of there. That's the movement phase here for Astra Militarum, uh, and he's going to skip his psychic phase because all the psychic powers are shooting phases, and his psychic is locked in combat. So we'll come back to you with the shooting phase here for turn two, Astra Militarum and Mechanicum. All right, he's going to cast or cast. He's going to do. Uh, Bring it down onto these guys. Orders. That's the word I was looking for. So they can take this down. Zenith and eight. No. And it can't Double do any more. Double sixes. You can't do any more orders this turn, right? I'm right. learning things. I'm learning things, people. That's true. All right, so then this squad, is are they still going to fire yeah, on deer? Yeah, they're still going to shoot. All right, so he's got the plasma guys there going to fire. They're so he's got, this oh, they're going to fire in this squad now because they didn't get the orders. So uh, are they within 12? Are all of them within 12? Yep, they're all within 12, all the plasma. So we need, here are the six shots for the plasma, hitting on threes. Oh, there's one, though. So, what's your armor save? Five. Five plus. Oh, it. are you kidding me? Saved it. Oh, all right. Uh, wounding on uh, twos. Okay, so three wounds. So this front guy is dead. Then I've got Rosaria saves there. There's a three, so I've got two left. So two four pluses. He saved them both. Yes. Yes, interrogated chaplain. Woo! Moving on. All right, now the last gun shots are going to come in, in here, hitting on threes. Okay. All but one hit. That's ridiculously awesome. Wounding on th th fives. Okay, so we've got four, five wounds. So five, 
three plus saves? Yeah, yeah, that's the only reason why I took it. All right, so there's two wounds. I'm going to do two lookout sirs, or I guess one lookout sir. Yeah. Uh, no. So failed that one, and then lookout sir. He passes that one. So he's down one, and he's dead. All right, moving on. The squad in here is going to fire on him. So we got the two plasma shots coming off, hitting on threes. Ooh, one gets hot. Five plus. No, one of them's dead. Okay. This hits moving on two. Four plus Rosaria save. Yeah! He laughs at your plasma. And then uh, we've got the last, uh, the last cannon shots on the side here. Hitting on fours. One hit. Wounding on a five. Nope. Then we've got the multi laser coming in. Three shots hitting on three fours. One hit. Wounding on a. What's the range of this? Strength six. Strength six. So wounding on a two. That's a wound. Is it AP? Nothing, so three plus armor save. No, he's taking another wound. Okay, moving on. All right, the squad inside of there is gonna fire onto him. So the two crack grenades, hitting on threes, both hit. Wounding on uh, strength six, so twos. One wound. AP, not AP four, so three plus. He's good. Crack missile, hitting on a three. Wounded on a two. So, no! And then the uh, last pistol, hitting on a three, wounded on a five, nope. All right, he's still alive! So he's gonna fire his uh, flamer template onto these guys, gets five hits. So strength five, AP four, so uh, looking for threes. Okay, so two wounds, two three plus armor saves. They're good. The wyverns are gonna fire onto these guys. He's putting it right over the sergeant there. So the first shot is a direct hit. All right, do you want to reroll that? <laughs> All right, so that's four hits. Uh, reroll, that's gonna miss. So we got, uh, yeah, miss. So we got four hits so far, direct hit. So we got another four, so that's eight hits. 12, 12 hits. Reroll. So, just two so two more, so 14 hits. Reroll. So another four, 18 hits. This is through four of them. We missed one, that's through five. Yeah, that's five. So this is number six. Reroll. All right, uh, that's, that's going to miss. So uh, 18, so 22. And re-rolling. That's a miss. So uh, 22 hits onto these guys. Woo wee! All right, we're gonna gather those dice and come back to you. All right, so we got 22 hits coming in here, looking for fours, but it's got shred. So fours and re-rolling all those misses or non-wounds, I should say. Okay. So quite a few. 18 wounds onto those guys. So uh, we're gonna go six at a time. Three pluses. Oh, are you kidding me? So three are dead. Um, six more. They're dead. They're all dead. Okay. So uh, yeah, that was uh, that was brutal. All right, moving on. All right, these guys are going to charge into these guys. And they are in. Oh. All right, so here we go into this brutal, brutal fight over here. So the way I'm going to allocate it, the two guys on the right there are going to attack into the Bulgren squad, and then the other three guys, including my Nightmaster, are going to attack into the Mechanicus. So we'll do the ones onto the Bulgren first. So they're going to be hitting on threes. All right, so I've actually got one that's a precision strike, which I learned about. So uh, I'm going to put this one one onto the priest. So we're going to roll this one, wounding on a two. AP three, does he have a... He's got a five plus. He's got a five plus invo. Nope, so he is dead. Because that strength six is going to double him out. So he's dead. And then these other two are uh, toughness five. So they're going to be uh, wounding on threes. Two wounds, AP three. So we've got... Uh, 
Five plus, plus invuls. One save. So one more wound okay. onto those guys. All right. Okay. So now we're going to go onto the other ones over here. So they're going to be going onto the Mechanicus. All hitting on threes again. Oh, I really need it better than that, guys. Okay. So, um, majority toughness is seven over there. So this is going to be wounding on a four, a five. Sorry, a five because we get to strength six. And this is going to be these are going to be our, fle our armor, a flesh bane. So they're going to be wounding on twos. Okay. So we've got three AP three hits going on to these guys. So are they? Do they have invul saves? Um, yes. Sorry, I might want to. No problem. Alright, we're going to find out about these uh, invul saves. Alright, so he's going to allocate it onto the Data Smith first, who's got a 2 plus armor save. He's only got two wounds, though, so that's two saved, and then one more. He's good. So he uh, absorbed them all. It's kind of brutal. Alright, moving on. Alright, so now it's going on to the, uh, the primary Psyker is going to hit. He's uh, hitting on fours, two hits, wounding on sixes. Uh, misses, not, no wounds. So now we're going to move on to the uh, o, uh, the Bulgrin. Sorry, I keep trying to say Ogrin for some reason. Uh, so now they're going to be hitting on fours. Okay, pretty good. Now uh, wounding on twos. All right, so we've got six wounds there. Six two plus saves. One dies. All right. Moving on. Yeah, we actually forgot about Hammer of Rats over here. So we've got three Hammer of Rats coming in. One wound. One wound. <laughs> Two plus. He's good. So now we're going to move on to uh, their uh, initiative step one here. All right, we're going to figure this out and come back to you with that. All right, so now we're going to have these guys back here have two power fists each, so they're going to be hit, getting uh, three attacks, e oh no, four attacks each, because it's base two plus one for the charge plus one for the extra combat weapon there. So hitting on fours. Oh, okay, I needed that. Wounding on twos. Cocked. Oh, okay, so one wound. I've got a three plus invul save. He's good. Okay. Woo. Okay. So now we've got uh, power fist coming from these guys over here. Six strength eights. Six strength eights. So uh, hitting on fours. Okay. Wounding on twos. Three wounds. Three three plus invul saves. Oh, one guy dies. Okay. And then some strength six shots coming in here. So hitting on uh, fours. All right, wounding on uh, strength six. So wounding on two still. Three wounds, but these are not AP two, right? So three wounds, two plus armor saves. Okay, they're all good. I think uh, we got to figure out uh, who won combat here. We'll come back to you with that. All right, it was actually a tie combat, so they're all locked in combat there. So uh, yeah, we'll come back to you with the uh, results of the mission of the objectives. All right, so objective wise, I got both of mine, killing an enemy unit, his uh, his priest there, and the uh, and have three of my units behind at my 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 deployment zone and none of his. He got one and six, uh, hold objective one and three of his units in his deployment zone and none of mine. So uh, really close here. Then we rolled on the next round. We got, I got two and four, so I have to hold objective two and kill an enemy unit. He got one and five, so he has to hold objective one and have a unit behind my deployment zone. So uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, movement phase here for the Dark Angels. He pivoted this way. He jumped up this way. He moved up this way. He stood still. He also stood still because he's immobilized. Uh, he kept where he was. He kept where he was. They stood still. They stood still. So a whole lot of standing still in position and trying to figure out what we're going to make our next step. So uh, yeah, so now we're going to move on to the shooting phase here for Dark Angel on turn three. All right, Predator is going to fire into the Wyverns over there. So uh, the, the black's going to be the twin linked. So hitting on threes. Okay. Uh, glance front armor is 12, so glancing on a 3. 
Oh, one pen, four plus cover save. All right, it goes through at least. See, does it explode? Plus one for AP2, plus one for open top. Oh, cocked. It does blow up. All right. How far does it blow up? One inch. So it's not going to hit anything, anybody else. It is just gone. Perfect. All right, moving on. All right. All right, Plasma Row there is going to fire onto the Wyvern over here. Let's see if he gets hot. He does. All right, three plus. He's good. All right. Other Plasma Guy. He's going to take the same shot over there. Does he get hot? He doesn't. Thank God. Does it hit? Uh, minus four. He's good. Direct hit. Oops. So we got front armor is 12, right? Yep. All right. So front armor is 12. Looking for a five to glance. Nope. One. Okay. Moving on. All right. My whirlwind is going to fire onto those guys. Strength 5, AP 4. No, what's their AP? What's their uh, their armor? 5. Their armor's 5? So I'm going to do the strength 4, AP 5, uh, ignores cover. So uh, let's see if it direct if it hits. Uh, minus 3, so uh, minus 4, so it's a direct hit. So how many is that there? Uh, seven. 7. All right. So we got 7 wounding on 3s. 4, 5, 6, 7. Wounding on, ah, get back here. Wounding on threes. So we've got one, two, three, four, five dead. From the center there. Two, three, four, five. All right, pretty brutal. He's gonna look out surf for him. Uh, nope, so he is dead. All right, so uh, yeah, pretty good. I'll take that. All right, the squad in here is gonna fire onto his uh, chimera there. So I'm going to rapid fire a plasma gun, which is going to be the black, and rapid fire a bolter, which is going to be the green. So hitting on threes. Oh, come on. Three plus. He's good, but doesn't get any hits. Uh, two hits from here. Glancing on sixes. Nothing. Okay, moving on. The storm bolter on there is going to do the same thing. Hitting on threes. All right, glancing on sixes. Yeah, one glance. So that's it. It's dead, right? It's only got one left. So, oh, three, uh, yeah, three plus cover save. Oh, of course he made it. Ah! All right, moving on. All right, the squad in here is going to fire onto uh, the Chimera there. Black is going to be the plasma, green a bolter, hitting on threes. Okay. Uh, green is going to be glancing on a six. Black is going to be glancing on a three. Oh, of course. Nothing. Moving on. The rhino is going to try to repair its immobilize there. And is it five or six or six? Uh, it might just be a six. We're going to figure that one out. Nope. Needed a six. All right. The land raider is going to fire into those guys and power the machine sphere, the multi melt it into his uh, chimera there. So. Hitting on a three. Oh, one again. That multi melt just does not want to hit. All right, so uh, the assault cannon hitting into the other guys, hitting on threes. Twin linked. All right, four hits, wounding on twos. All right, so that's four cover saves of four plus. Two guys die. There we go. All right. Then we've got the uh, hurricane bolters hitting on threes. Twin linked. All right. Wounding on threes. All right. So we got three wounds. Three four plus cover saves. Uh, all right, so one guy dies. Okay, moving on. All right, the actual it actually doubled out the two wound uh, missile launcher guy there. So um, the the assault cannon did. So that left uh, meant just one more guy died. So the only one that's left is the actual commander. All right, the attack bike is going to fire the multi melter into this guy, hitting on a three. It hits, thankfully. All right, glancing on a two. That's a pen. Uh, plus two on the result. It blows up. How far? Two inches, which I don't think is going to hit anybody, so it just blows up. Woo! 
Woo! All right. Uh, I think that's it for shooting for the Dark Angels. So we're going to have a couple uh, morale tests, and then we'll come back to you with uh, a charge or two, I think. All right, so he's going to charge into there. Uh, yeah, he's in. All right, so we'll move him in, and then we'll come back to you with the, uh, the assault phase. All right, so we're going into here. The chaplain is the interior of the chaplain is going to start by hitting into the uh, the Bulgren there. He's got three base attacks, plus one for the charge, plus one for extra close combat weapon. Um, he'll be hitting on threes, re-rolling because it's his first turn of combat, and uh, he'll have strength six, so he'll be wounding on threes. So hitting on threes. All right, re-rolling because the first round of combat, thankfully. Okay, still not great. All right, uh, strength six, toughness five, so wounding on threes. All right, three wounds at AP4, so they're going to have their uh, invul saves. Uh, what is it? There was two wounds left on this yeah, guy. Yeah, two wounds left on this guy. And then, so he failed one, he passed yep. one, third one, he passed him. Passed it. All right, so, so he's down, down to one. one. All right, then we're going to move on to my guys here on initiative step four. One of the guys is going to go into the bu the Bulgrins there. So he's going to be hitting on threes. Okay, one hit. Wo uh, wounding on a three. Nothing. Okay. Then the other guys are going to go on to the Mechanicum over there. So I've got uh, the green are going to be, uh, everything's going to be hitting on threes. Oh, man. All right. Glint, uh, wounding on a five and wounding on a two because of flesh bane. All right, which was the other way around. <laughs> uh, so we got one AP three wound onto them. I'll take it on the data smith. Two take it on the data smith two plus. Yeah, he's good. All right. So now we're gonna move on to their turn. We'll come back to you with those. We're gonna start off with the psyker here, hitting on a four. Nothing. All right. Then we've got him. He's gonna be hitting. What's his weapon skill? Four. Four. So hitting on a four. Gets one hit. Strength what? Strength five. Strength five. So wounding on a three. That's a wound. AP. Nothing. AP nothing. So two plus save. They're good. All right. Then we've got these guys who are going to be hitting. Yeah, hitting on fours. One hit. Wounding on a uh, two. That's a wound. Two plus save. He's good. Maybe the ten for the Bulgren. Yeah. So we got ten. Um, yeah, ten hits coming in for the Bulgren. All right, hitting on fours. Okay. Wounding on uh, twos. So four wounds. Four two pluses. One guy dies. All right. And then, uh, and then you've got the guys with the power fist, right? Yep. So I've got uh, three attacks each. Yep. All right. Well, no, no. Oh. Yes. Yeah, we'll do these guys, the the monstrous guys there with the fist. So three attacks each, hitting on fours. Okay. Wounding on twos. Three wounds. Um, uh, three, uh, three, three pluses. One guy dies. And then um, four strength six attacks. And then four strength six attacks. Hitting on fours. Wounding on twos. Three wounds. AP two. Three pluses. Oh, one guy, he dies. All right. So the only one left is my... Uh, is my chaplain, and uh, they won combat, but he uh, is fearless, so he's going to be stuck in there. Okay. So uh, yeah, that's the end of that phase. So we'll come back to you after movement phase for Mechanicum and Astra Militarum. All right, movement phase here for uh, Mechanicum and uh, and Astra Militarum. These guys are moving up here, looking on my Land Raider because his Warlord rolled the trait where all his close combat attacks are uh, haywire. Uh, these guys are still locked in combat. He's still there, but he's not theirs. Uh, these guys back here rallied because they had lost and run back, but they rallied, moved three inches this way, 
these guys disembarked from their Chimera. Chimera pivoted this way looking onto my Rhino there, and that's it for movement phase for him. So uh, his Psyker's still locked in combat, so we're just gonna come back to you with the shooting phase. All right, we're gonna start with the heavy bolter from the Chimera into the side of the Rhino there. So hitting on threes or fours, glancing on six. Got one glance, four plus cover save. Uh, nope, so he takes one glance. Then the multi-lasers hitting on fours. One, glancing on a four. Five. Nope, nothing. All right, so he's down one hull point. The last remaining plasma gun guy in here is going to rapid fire into him. So hitting on a three, uh, glancing on a four. That's a pen. Uh, result, plus one. It blows up. Okay, how far does it blow up? Four inches. All right, we'll figure out what happens from there. So here's the result. Uh, my guys didn't die, but they did fail their leadership test, so they're pinned, uh, and he lost one guy in the uh, in the blast. All right, moving on. All right, the Wyvern is going to fire into these guys. Direct hit. So that is that hit? Is that hit all five? All right, hits all five. Next shot. Rerolling. So it's going to hit two. Gonna hit another two. So we've got five, nine so far. None, I don't think. Yeah. So we got, uh, that's only four shots. That was four shots. Because we got five, yeah. So we got nine hits. Wounding on fours. Uh, Rerolling because of shred. So we got six wounds. All right, so six three plus armor saves. They are good. Boom! I will take that. All right, that's it for shooting. These guys are going to charge into here, and they're in. So we'll move them in, and then we'll come back to you with the fight sub phase. So first, we're going to go with the data spike there from the uh, from what's his face, Data Smith. Yeah. So uh, hitting on a three. No. Okay, I needed that. All right, now we're gonna move on to the, uh, the his warlord there, who's gonna attack us. His attacks are actually war are uh, actually uh, haywire shots. So hitting on threes. Oh, three hits. Haywire. Two pens. Two pens and a glance. The effects of the pens is it AP anything? No, actually, so yeah, I can't. Yeah. Do okay. So uh, well, the four it would be snap firing. So. But you got three whole points. Yeah, three whole points are down. So he's down to one hull point. This is not looking good for him. And we'll do the eight power fists. Eight strength power 10. fists, they're strength 10. So hitting on threes. All right, glancing on fours. Yeah, it's dead. All right, but it's AP2, so it actually will blow up on a couple of those. There were two, three. So, nope, it doesn't blow up. So it is just dead. All right, uh, so now moving on. All right, we're gonna just go over here to this attack. Um, my chaplain's gonna go first. He's got three base plus one for extra close combat weapon. Hitting on a three. Okay. Two hits. Uh, wounding on threes. Two wounds, AP4. So you got your uh, five plus invuls. Two wounds, so what do we got here? Well, this guy over here is... So one, yeah. that guy can die. And then that guy dies, right? Yeah, I can allocate within two inches. Uh, I think it might be closest. We'll figure out what this allocation is. All right, so two guys are dead, so now we're gonna move in initiative step three there. Two hits hitting on uh, th fours, two hits. Wounding on uh, strength three, right? Yeah. So fives. Nope. And then uh, he's gonna consolidate in. So he's got three attacks here. Hitting on fours, one hit, wounding on twos, that's a wound, three plus armor save, I do not want him to fail this, I really need him to make this one, yeah he's good, woo, alright, so I won by two, so you've got, um, down to seven, ooh, failed, so now initiative step, roll off, Oh, wow. And I rolled a total of six. So you're, you made it. You're out. So uh, roll your, how much far are you running away? Uh, two, two dice. So they were all four, uh, four inches away. All right. 
That's the end of the uh, fight set phase. So we'll come back to you after. We'll come back to you with the results of the uh, objectives. All right. So we've got here. Uh, I got a uh, hold objective two, but I didn't kill an enemy unit. Um, and he got a uh, hold objective one, but he didn't. Uh, he didn't have uh, a unit in my deployment zone. So then we rolled again, and I got one and three. Just hold objective one. And uh, and three kill an enemy unit, and then he got kill an enemy unit number three and number six, which is have three of his units and none of my units in his enemy in his deployment zone. All right, so moving on to turn four here, with Dark Angels movement phase. All right, movement phase here for the Dark Angels. We've got uh, he can't move; he's immobilized. He shot back there, passed his dangerous terrain test. He shot back there, passed his dangerous terrain test. He stood still. He pivoted. These guys stood still. These guys also stood still. They're pinned, so they can't do anything there. And that's it for Dark Angels here on turn four. So that's movement. So now we're going to go on to the shooting phase. All right, starting here with the uh, Predator. He's going to be firing into the Chimera. So the black's going to be the twin linked, hitting on threes. All right, twin linked. Okay. Front armor is uh, 12, so needing a three to glance. Okay, two glances. Two four ups. He's dead. All right. All right, moving on. All right, he is going to fire onto the wyvern over here. See if he gets hot. He does. That's how many times in a row is he going to get hot? Just kill yourself right now. Nope, he's still alive. All right, his other bro over here, who still who always manages to hit somehow, is going to go. Does he get hot? He does not. Roll for scatter. Oh, that's going to be way off. He can't hit, and he always gets hot. Great. Beautiful. All right, moving on. All right, the Whirlwind is going to fire his Strength 5 AP4 shots onto those guys there. Let's see if it scatters. Direct hit. So that's how many? Seven. Two, four, six, seven. Uh, wounding on twos. Strength 5, right? Yep, wounding on twos. Oh. <laughs> All right, three survived. So, uh, AP uh, strength five, AP four. So they lost four guys. Okay, three guys are still alive. All right, the attack bikes firing into these guys. So we've got um, the green. They're going to be the rapid firing uh, bolters, and the black is going to be the multi melter hitting on threes. Okay, all hits. Wounding at what's the majority of toughness is five, right? So wounding on fives on the greens, uh, twos on the black. All right, so we've got one and one. Take the armor save. Oh, wait, how many wounds does he have? Um, he's got two wounds. He's got two wounds. All right. Five up he's got a five up invul. Do the invul first. So one. Nope. So he's dead because that's going to double him out. The invul. That's why I said invul. Because he has They're both invuls. Oh, I, well, I meant the multi melter because I was thinking he had an armor save. So yeah. And then uh, he's got his whatever his save is. He's four plus against a multi. Okay. Four plus. He's good. Okay, moving on. All right, my uh, my war my interrogated chaplain is going to shoot his commander over there. So hitting on a, th a two. That's a hit. Wounding on a three. That's a wound. Five plus invul. He's good. All right, uh, moving on. All right, the squad inside of here is going to fire onto the Bulgrin over there. So the plasma is going to be the black. Green is going to be the bolter. Hitting on threes. All right. Wounding on a two. Oh. <laughs> okay, ones. Moving on. This squad here is going to fire into the squad back in there. You can use them. Yeah, they're just back in there. So we've got a plasma gun and we've got uh, three bolter shots, all hitting on sixes because they're pinned. Oh, come on. Gets hot. Three plus. Nope, he's dead. Good job. All right, the squad, uh, the uh, the rhino here is going to fire his storm bolter into the rhino, into the uh, the bulkrin. Hitting on threes. One hit. Wounding on a five. Nothing. All right, so that's it for shooting phase. We'll come back to you with the charges. All right, my interrogated chaplain is going to charge into his commander there. Nothing. Nothing. So my charge distance. He's in. All right, so we'll come back to you with that fight. All right, so we're going to go over here to this battle over here. We're going to start with my chaplain. He's going to go first. So he's got three base plus one for extra close combat weapon plus one for the charge. He gets to re-roll because he's uh, 
It's got Zealot, so hitting on threes. Rerolling first round of combat. Okay. So I've got four hits, wounding on twos. Four wounds, AP four. He's got a five up invo. Two wounds. He's dead. All right. So uh, I'll consolidate him, and that'll be the end of Dark Angel's turn. So we'll come back to you after movement phase for Mechanicus and, uh, and Astra Militarum on turn four. All right, these guys here are going to shoot onto my Warlord back there. So these are twin link shots, hitting on fours. And then uh, these are the others that aren't twin linked, along with the rerolls for the twin linked. So, uh, yeah, quite a few shots. Strength six, toughness four. So, uh, twos. So we got six wounds there. All right, six wounds. AP three. He's, uh, oh, he can't go to ground because he's fearless. Uh, four up cover save or four up invul save regardless. Well, I mean, he's only got one wound left, so if any of these fail. So, all right. Can he make six four pluses and go down in chapter history? Nope, he's wow, he's way dead. Okay, yeah, he's dead. All right, slay the warlord right there. All right, so the data smiths are going to fire through the other two um, two dude bros there and firing their torrent flamers on him. So he got two hits, looking for fives to gla uh, fives to wound. He's got one wound, one three plus. He's uh, yeah, he's dead. So he's down to one wound. All right, down to one wound. All right, moving on. All right, the wyvern is going to fire into here. First is a direct hit, so one. Reroll. Reroll. Nothing. One. Oh yeah, skiers can do it too. Two. Yeah. Two. Two. So two hits. Strength four. Looking for fives. Toughness five. So looking for fives. One wound. One three plus. Otherwise he's dead. He's good. All right. All right. That guard squad there is gonna fire into these guys. Their las guns hitting on fours. Uh, hitting on threes. I'm sorry because they're veterans. Wounding on fives. Got one wound. One three plus. He's good. Um, and is that it, I think? Yep, that's it for uh, his turn. So we'll come back to you with the uh, objective scored for each of us. All right, objectives. Um, I got both of mine. Hold objective one and kill a unit because I killed his, uh, his psyker. Then uh, he got kill a unit, and uh, but he didn't get have three of his units in his deployment zone and none of mine. So right now we're tied on Maelstrom. So on turn five here, possibly the last turn, I rolled a one and a four, which is hold objective one and destroy an enemy unit. And he got a three and a six, which is uh, which is destroy an enemy unit and uh, have three of his units and none of mine in his deployment zone. So coming back to you after movement phase for Dark Angels here on turn five. All right, movement phase for the Dark Angels. He shot over that way from inside of there. They stood still because they're immobilized. He stood still because he wants to stay still. He pivoted around, stood still, stood still, stood still. So that's it for Dark Angel's uh, movement phase. Now we're going to move on to the shooting phase here in turn five. Predator is going to fire into the Wyvern over there. So the black's going to be the twin linked, hitting on threes. Okay, two hits. Uh, glancing on a three. I got one pen. One four up cover save. No, it's a two. So plus two because it's AP two and open topped. Five weapon destroyed. So, what's the uh, how many three, weapons? Three, the whole weapon, four through six, the turret. All right, so the uh, heavy bolter on the front is gone on that. All right, moving on. Okay, seriously, you've been failing me all day. I need you not to fail me right now. So, he is gonna fire onto the wyvern. Does he get hot? Oh, finally, does not get hot. All right, let's see. Does he scatter way off like his brother always does? Oh, man. Minus four, so four inches back. Is it still on? Is it off? Oh, I'm sorry. Four inches back. Okay. Is, is it uh, wait, right on the, yeah. 
Okay. Sorry. Okay. Oh, off the table. All right, because he's an idiot. All right, now we're going to try his other friend. Does he get hot? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Yes, one. Nope, he's okay, but... I mean, they're not coming back onto the ship, obviously. <laughs> so, moving on. All right, my whirlwind's going to fire it onto there. Uh, strength 5, AP 4. So, uh, hitting on our... Let's see. If it scatters, it does not scatter. Direct hit. So, uh, yeah, so we got five wounds on there and an ordinance shot onto the Wyvern. So... So let's do, how many is that? There's five guys there? Yep, five guys. Five guys at strength five, wounding on twos. Okay, so it's four guys. It's not ignores cover. So four, four pluses. So two guys die. All right, and then we've got the ordnance shot onto the side armor of the Wyvern. So needing a uh, five to glance. Nope. Come on, that Wyvern is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, so moving on. All right, these guys here are going to fire into uh, those guys in there. So three shots, hitting on threes. Okay, one. Wounding on a three, that's a wound. Four plus cover save. Nope, one more guy dies. That's huge. Okay, so uh, that might be it for shooting. I think I might run my bike because I don't think he's got line of sight on the Wyvern, does he? No, he doesn't. Okay, so uh, yeah, so I think that's going to be it. He might be doing some uh, flat out, but otherwise that's the end of, uh, end of Dark Angel's turn here. So we'll come back to you after movement phase for the Mechanicum. All right, so over here, just to show you a little follow-up at the end of the Dark Angel's turn, he flatted out over here and popped a tire coming through here, but he managed to make his armor save. Gave me a major heart attack over there. And the unit that was here failed its uh, leadership test and ran off the board, so they're dead. So now we're going to come back to you after movement phase for Mechanicum and Astro Militarum. All right, movement phase here for Mechanicum turn five. These guys moved up this way. He moved a little closer to that guy, and that's the end of movement phase. So now we're going to come back to you with shooting phase. So these guys are going to shoot over here. We've got the uh, twin linked shots coming here, hitting on fours. Uh, two, four, five. All right. Now the other ones that are not twin linked, along with the rerolls for the twin linked, hitting on fours. All right. Strength six, looking for fives to glance the side of this. One glance of two pens. So it is dead. Is there AP on that? Uh, no. No AP on that. So it is just a wreck. So I will disembark those guys, and then uh, we'll come back uh, come back with the rest of the shooting phase. All right, so on the shooting phase, the Wyvern is going to fire onto him over here. So one, two, two hits, three hits, four hits. Oh, man. Brutal. All right, so four is looking for fives. Rerolling. Rerolling. Oh, not that you needed it. All right, so three wounds. So three, three plus saves to keep him over there. No, he is dead. All right, so he is dead. All right, and that's the end of uh, Astro Militarum's turn. Do you want to roll to see if we go on? Sure. We do. All right, so we'll come back to you uh, with the results of that... Uh, of the objective. All right, so objectives. I got held objective one and killed an enemy unit. He killed an enemy unit but did not have three of his units and none of mine in his deployment zone. So uh, I am up by one at this point. Uh, then we moved on to the world for the next round. Uh, I got two and four, which is hold objective two and kill an enemy unit, and he got one and three, which is hold objective one and kill an enemy unit. All right, Dark Angel's movement phase was easy. I didn't move a single unit at all, because they're all kind of where I need them to be. So uh, that's it for movement phase. We're going to move on to the shooting phase kind of right away here. The uh, the Predator here is going to fire onto his Wyvern over in the back there. Black's going to be the twin linked, hitting on threes. Oh, one hit. Glancing on a three. Yes. Really? Yes. The yes. dice are just... Uh, all right, moving on. Let's try this again. Plasma cannon onto him. Does it get hot? 
Oh. It does not. Does it scatter? Yes. It does. It scatters off. Does it hit? No, it does not hit. Okay. So on to the other guy. One. He does not get hot. Does it scatter? Yes. Oh. Two inches? It should still hit. Four. Two. Because it's. Oh, it's eight. Oh. Does that still clip it? Oh, it does get a hit. Oh. All right. Strength seven. On to 12. I need a five. I really need a five. Yes. Oh, are you kidding me? <sighs> All right. Warwind's going to fire his strength five AP4 ordinance shot in there. Does it scatter? Yes. It does. Five inches. So, no hit? Hit? So, right here. Yeah. And that's off, isn't it? Is it hit? That's off. It's off. <sighs> All right, that was it for uh, Dark Angel's turn here. Real quick turn. So uh, we're gonna come back to you after movement phase for Mechanicum on this turn. Movement phase, he successfully moved over there. He rolled a one on his movement phase. Rough, super rough. Uh, so now we're gonna move on to the shooting phase. He's gonna fire this onto the middle guy there. Okay. Sure. Yep. All right, two. None. It's gonna hit none. So two. Three. So five total. So five wounding on fours. Shred. That's cocked. Yeah. All right. So three wounds. Three. Three plus armor saves. Oh, it was three, wasn't it? But they got all of them there. So okay. So they're safe. All right. Is that it for? Are you gonna run or are you gonna? I guess you got nothing. All right. He's gonna he's gonna run those guys. So that's the end of uh, the shooting phase. We'll come back to you with the. Uh, well, actually, here. Yeah, just run. One inch. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. So do you want to roll to see if it goes on anymore? On a four plus? Nope, that's game. So uh, we'll figure out the score and then we'll come back to you with the results. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is a Dark Angel victory. I squeaked out the Maelstrom with a uh, with a nine to eight score on that. I got uh, first blood. My opponent got Slay the Warlord, and then I held two objectives, holding that objective right there and this objective in here, um, and my opponent held that objective, so I won the main uh, mission too. So uh, yeah, brutal, brutal game. Blood everywhere. Um, the Mechanicum is still moving at full strength to find their objects, so maybe we'll just get out of their way and keep trying to cleanse the rest of the... Uh, planetary defense force, but we'll see what happens. We might see them in the future. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're probably going to see them in the future. So, uh, yeah, so that's been a great game. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Share, like, and subscribe the video. Um, I've been Phil. My opponent's been Colin. And until next time, have fun.